In League of Legends, one can gain Riot Points by using the RP Plus debit card from American Express. On today's episode of LolMath, we'll be taking a look at exactly how many Riot Points one can receive based on their purchases and whether or not it is worth it to get the card for the sole purpose of gaining Riot Points. As a quick note, I should point out that the purpose of this video is simply to explain the math behind the RP Plus card. I was not paid by American Express or Riot Games to promote the card, and if the deal sucks, I'll gladly let you know. That having been said, let's take a look at the card. An RP Plus card is a prepaid American Express debit card available to US residents that are 18 or older. Upon signing up for a card, one will be granted 1,000 Riot Points, the equivalent to $7.69. Once one adds $20 or more to the card, they will be granted another 1,000 Riot Points. If one adds $20 or more to the card using direct deposit, they will be granted 10,000 Riot Points, the equivalent of $76.92 easily making their money back. One will also gain another 100 Riot Points for each of their first 10 purchases after using the card. This will grant about 77 cents worth of Riot Points per purchase. Finally, one will receive Riot Points each time they make a transaction equal to the cost of the purchase divided by 3, rounding up to the nearest integer. For every transaction of $3 or less, one will gain less than a cent worth of Riot Points. Overall, if one is only interested in purchasing an RP Plus card to gain Riot Points, they should register for a card and add $20 via direct deposit, granting them $84.60 two cents worth of riot points for just twenty dollars. If one adds twenty dollars using another source, they will be losing twelve dollars and thirty one cents if they do not intend to spend the money on the card. Every other source of riot points will have diminishing returns if one is only interested in using the card to gain riot points, not making purchases for other reasons. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. Click the annotation on the screen if you'd like to see the previous Law Math episode. You can also like Law Math on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and watch me live stream on Twitch. Thanks for watching this episode of Law Math.